Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to join two pieces of square edge laminate worktop. Now this is different to the, the ball nose laminate worktops. This will only work on the square edge tops. Now even though this looks like a solid wood worktop, I can assure you it is a laminate. It's just a really high quality laminate worktop. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's a square edge one. We're not going to do a mason's mitre on it. This is just going to be a butt joint. Um, and I'm going to run you through how to do that. Cheers. Okay, so to start off with, we want to determine two things. We want to determine the length of this piece of worktop, which is this piece here. And we also want to find out where we need to remove our strip from. So to do that, what I do is I take a scrap piece of worktop. That's obviously the same thickness as the piece of worktop that we're using. And I can place that over here. Then the piece of worktop that we're going to be using, obviously cut over length at the moment. I can place in where we want it. So as you can see at the moment, it's over length. Then taking a pencil from the inside, I can mark my length. So that's determined the length of this piece of worktop. We can now cut that, do all our bolts and everything we need to do to do that. Now, to determine the length of where we need to remove this strip from, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer and show you how I do that. Okay, so now that we've determined the length of this piece of worktop, we know where we want to cut this one to. Like I said, we need to know where we want to remove our edging strip off of this piece of worktop here. So what we do, we take a sharp standy blade, extremely sharp, go with a new one, it's worth it. And we just want to put a nick on the edging strip. Don't go too mad at this point, just mark your point so you know where you're going to need to take that off. Then we can remove this piece of worktop altogether. Get that right out of the way, because we won't be using that for a minute. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our square, put that right on that point, and we're gonna run our knife down. Now we're just gonna go nice and carefully to start with, just to establish our line. Don't wanna go pressing too hard, because you don't wanna slip here. Right, once you've established that line, if you can see that, you can then really start to cut in and it's essential to make sure that you cut all the way through the plastic not just part of the way through it can be a little bit fiddly take your time plenty of cuts don't try and go too deep in one one hit okay that's that cut so I'm now going to turn you around and show you how we actually go about removing this strip. Okay, so now we've marked our point, if you can see it here, we've got a definitive client, we've cut that strip, so now this piece of strip is different to this piece of strip, they're two separate pieces. Now some people apply heat to this with a heat gun, I, I've never bothered really, I haven't found that you've needed to do it, but the thing that I will suggest is a nice sharp chisel really sharp and you want to work in a downward motion away from this edge if you work up you're going to split the face of this this uh, laminate out and there's no saving that so you want to work right from the corner get your chisel in right on the end just start to work that bit of strip away if it wants to come You'll notice here that at no point am I going anywhere near that for top edge. Stand well away from it. It's naturally wanting to pull its way out. So that's all good. Just a little bit there. See if you have got to go near the top edge, just make sure you come down and not up. Like I said, you never want to be near that top edge. and then just chisel and lever your way along. I'm gonna carry on doing this and I'll get back to you when we get to the end. Okay, we're getting to the end now. 
we've got all of that off. So on this last bit, we're gonna go nice and slowly. You can see I've changed over to a nice flat blade scraper, rigid scraper. Coming from the top, working down. Lever. Chisel, lever. Being very, very careful of this top edge. You really don't wanna put any pressure on that top edge at all. Lever. And that's it, we're down to the end now. So we should be able to just lever this off nice and gently. And there you go, that's that strip removed. We've not damaged anything. We've got a nice clean crisp edge where it's gonna meet up with the other piece of work top. Okay, so now we're at this stage, you can feel it's all a bit fluffy and a bit gnarly and there's some glue left on it and all that. So I'll just take a piece of sandpaper and give it a real light rub down. And that just gets rid of all that nasty bits and gives it somewhere good for the glue to adhere to. Okay, so I've now got this piece of worktop back in place. We've removed that strip. We've cleaned that edge all up. We've cut the other bit to size. So we know we're all good now. So it's now time to put it in place and see what it looks like. So you just wanna take your piece of worktop and gently lever it in, being careful of your edges. You don't wanna break anything at this point. Put, push and pull it all about. I'll bring you in a little bit closer. And here we go, that's the joint as it sits at the moment. Now obviously we need to glue this and bolt that and that brings me on to my next point. Next point is gonna be bolting these up. So obviously we need to bolt this up now. Now you can measure this and measurements are great, but measurements can be wrong. You can fail with measurements. So what I tend to do is just put a nice pencil mark where I want my bolt holes. And then you can't go wrong with that. That's like fail proof in your, like I said, measurements are great, but you can get them wrong. You can be five or 10 mil out. This is a definitive point to work to. Okay. so. We've done our bolt holes. You can see that I've actually already got my bolts in. Just makes it a little bit easier to have bolts in place on one side, so you've only got to deal with one side. So we're going to apply our glue now. Now, there's a lot of uh, controversy over what you should use. I use silicon, clear silicon. I have done for about 17 years and I've never had a problem with it. So let me know below what you use, but that's what I use. and. Um, yeah, I've never had a problem with it, so I'm not, not about to change any time soon. So yeah, it's a case of silicon or whatever glue you wanna use along that edge, bolt it up and we're done. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna come back and we'll have a little talk. Okay, so I just forgot to press record, my bad. But basically what I've done so far is I've just put some silicon in there and laid this piece on so you haven't missed much. So now we're gonna jump underneath and we're gonna actually start to bolt all of this up. So we'll get on with that. I'll try not to forget to press record again. Okay, so now we've uh, nipped them bolts up. We've got them just slightly tight. We're gonna come up here and turn our attention to just getting these worktops flat now. It is easier with two of you, so you, one of you can do it up and the other one can be underneath, but I normally do it on my own. Okay, and there you have it. It's as easy as that, really. Just things to watch out for is just make sure you stay away from that top edge when you're using your chisel or your scraper to take that strip off. If you are really worried, you can get a hairdryer or a heat gun set on low and just warm that up. It'll make it a little bit easier to come off. But like I said, I don't bother. Um, 
yeah, make sure you get your bolts in beforehand because the last thing you want to do is be covered in silicone or glue, hands all over, and then you need to find that you need to take it all apart again. So make sure them bolts are in, make sure everything's nice and clean when you're working, and you should be fine. Any more problems, let me know below. If you want to see any more of this sort of stuff, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, and you'll be up to date with all my videos. If you've got anything from this at all, please uh, hit that like button because it really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.